Hey, it's Freiberger here with another dirt cheap, no production quality iPhone video talking about firing order and how you can change it up. What is firing order? Well, as you can see right here, 18436572, it is the order in which the cylinders fire. If the distributor is rotating, it's the order that the sparks are distributed to each cylinder. It's the order of the power strokes in each cylinder. Now, this is the really old firing order that you'll find on a ton of old V8s. Small and big block Chevy, small and big block Mopar, uh, Buick, uh, lots of Oldsmobiles, not all Pop Pontiacs, uh, Studebakers, AMCs, Packards, Internationals. It's really, really common. Now here's the thing you gotta understand is there's such a thing called companion cylinders. As you can see right here, one and six, eight and five, four and seven, three and two. So each pair of these cylinders is at top dead center at the same time as determined by the throws of the crankshaft. Now, when you've got a V8 engine, the crankshaft throws are determined by the bank angle and also by uh, if they're on a common pin or not, which they virtually all are, and by the balance or whether it's a flat plane or not. This is the super common configuration where the companion cylinders that are at top dead center at the same time are one and six, eight and five, four and seven, three and two. So that means in a normal firing order like this, for example, one and six will both be at top dead center at the same time, but one of them is at TDC on the compression stroke and one is at TDC on the exhaust stroke. The thing is, you can change that up doing nothing but changing the camshaft. Hold on a second, I'll show you. These are two big block Chevrolet camshafts for different firing orders. If you study them carefully how I'm holding them here, you can see that that very top lobe is in a different place. That's because this camshaft is for a four and seven swap. Let me put these down, hold on a sec. So what you can do is take any one of these companion cylinders and rearrange the lobes on the camshaft to change whether each cylinder is on the compression stroke on its way down for power or if it's on the exhaust stroke. Now what's very common is to change four and seven. That's a good swap for old Chevys is very common to do. The other thing that you can do is swap four and seven and three and two. If you do that, you know what you get, an LS firing order. Now the other thing that's interesting is if you take an old Ford firing order, like for a Ford FE, and on those engines, if you'll come here, I will tell you that they have a different firing order, but it's because the engine is configured differently. If you're looking at a V8 engine, the cylinder head that is furthest forward is usually the one that has the number one cylinder. Now on a Chevy, it is the driver's side head that's further forward. On a Ford, or actually on a 500 Cadillac I recently learned, it's the passenger side said head that's further forward. And so number one is over here. In addition, Ford numbers their cylinders differently. Chevy goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is the odd bank, that's the even bank. Ford does one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you take a Ford firing order from the early V8s, not the earliest ones like flatheads and Y blocks, those are different, but if you take something like an FE or an early 302 and you number the cylinders as if it was a Chevrolet, you know what the firing order is? One, eight, four, three, six, five, seven, two. That's right. And later on, when they changed the HO firing order, all that they did is started doing four and seven and, and uh, three and two swaps and things like that. And so ultimately, that's how firing orders can be changed. However, the important thing to know right now is that I do have these t-shirts on sale, so you can check those out at shop.davidfreiberger.com. There's a link in the video. Now you should understand a little bit more about firing orders and how they can be affected by your camshaft.